What can we do now, guys? Later, bitch. Man, Pale Cascade's broken. <laughs> Ugh. You doing good? Okay, worth it. Yeah, well, I mean, um, I almost Google searched Emily Willis while pulling it up on the screen. I did not realize she was an American pornographic actress. But she's doing well for herself, and I may check out some of her content when I'm done broadcasting today. Yeah, um, I may do that. She also has an award-winning booty, and if I do say so myself, I haven't won any awards, but I think I also have an award-winning booty. Christmas music, let's go. Okay. Uh, this card's actually probably pretty good, but I feel like it's way too dirty to keep. I don't necessarily actually like Sketchy right away here, I think. I like the Scar and Solari there. They both get... My friend, please relax. Do you know it beats a... Uh, one mana 2-2. Two, two. Yes, that is right, a one mana 3-3. Three, three. And a... Two mana, three six. Very hot. Okay. I mean, I can just do that. It doesn't actually really matter. I guess actually it kind of does, right? Because I could then block with that next turn. I just attack with this. Like I could block the two two. I guess. My bad. Imbalance card. Okay. I think I just take that. I don't get it. Invoke one time. Uh, it's a playable on five with the uh, Scryer. And this for five already. Kind of like it, so I think the four three is really good. I won't have any spell mana to play with the Cascade though, so it's like not actually that great. But I'm still okay with it. Hmm. Probably comment now. I like it enough. I think just like removing one of the champions is a pretty good uh, opportunity you can take advantage of. That's a card. Oh no, my friend. I mean, I could just block it with this. It's really not that good though. I could kill it, but that's also really not that good. Could play the Daylight Spear as well. I think that also falls into a category of not that good there. I think I just like killing it. It feels kind of bad because I'd rather just save this for like the battleship, but it's fine. Light up Sketcher, okay. It's an elusive card to block my elusive card now, which kind of sucks. I think I should do this sooner than later. Playing the Raven card too is kind of fine. I get like a Daybreak thing to use. Just give myself more options, basically. Does not really do anything here? I'm gonna play this. Attacking with this one's actually good here. So he plays Vlad. But you know, we're not gonna talk about that because Vladimir will not come down here. This guy goes from like not looking that intimidating when he's not flipped to actually being really scary. I don't know what it is. Just like a little bit darker for the red. Uh, there's no way he's actually passing that much mana, man. Like, I'm not gonna let you just like throw five away and do. I'm like, pff, I don't know. There's no way. Come on, bro. It's three mana. This is also three mana. The big traveler. Feels better. It reduces cost of this to 9, so I play this through 3, then I have 9 mana next round, so I can play Skies. Which is good in some cases. If I like open attack and just do some dumb stuff, then beats him to play stuff, and I mean, you're not really going to play around Skies to send. No way. What a terrifying play. Uh, I could hush and cascade that, or I could just take 700 damage. As well. It's also an option. I think I can probably just block with my bad units and then just like reset. I kind of lack ways to heal though. So I maybe just like don't want this to die.
Yeah, it's fine. We're still 11. No real issues. Anybody ever play 13 health potion Mordekaiser? I used to rip that shit all day long, man. These are some cards. I don't know if this is really what I need, but I think I just take it. It's good. Can maybe sketch it as well if we want? Like a one drop. I lose my spell mana. Did I do that? Can block this. Maybe just don't play with this in mind yet. And just wait. This still means that I can cast the uh, other card, which is nice. So I'm gonna take it. Because it goes down to seven. Why is he passing like that? It's so confusing. I think I just pass back. I don't think I care that much. If he attacks it just that, I don't give a fuck, right? He has to develop more. Sure. Still fine. Happy Canadian Thanksgiving. That is the wrong day for the Thanksgiving. It's the American one today, my friends. You're close though. Congratulations for that. I will show him what it means to descend skies. Goodbye. I don't even think this is really that great. I feel like I really wanted to hit like a Leviathan with it, but it's still, it's still decent, right? Not like my board seat's bad or anything. I can just attack him for seven here. Catch up a little bit. I get developed too. I think this stun is actually really sweet with um, the Raven. So I actually like developing here, I think. It's a good card to get as well. Definitely not an ideal answer, or not an ideal card, sorry, to uh, to hit the stun into, but it's fine. Still good. My Canadian? Yes, sir. Am I into Canadian politics by any chance? Uh, I'm not super deep into politics, now. Most of my spare time goes into just uh, video games for the most part. Those are the things that I'm usually really passionate about. Just like that and then lifting are, uh, I would say, my two main hobbies. And maybe say like broadcasting is a larger one. They stream most of the time when I'm playing games, but... Card games, League of Legends. Picking up weights and putting them down. Those are the hobbies. Politics, not so much. It's like voting stuff, but, uh, you know, I'm not, uh... Somebody that I would call super knowledgeable or anything like that. Oh man, this guy's crazy. What a play. My card is stunned. Oh no. What will we do, gentlemen? Oh no. Did I get a PS5? No, I have a computer. <laughs> I don't need a PS5. It's kind of uh, a vibe. It's big. It's also always daytime. I guess if it's always daytime, I should play this first, and then I get the daybreak effect with this as well. That would make the most sense, I think. My hand's kind of too full, though. It's crazy how much value we have with this deck. It really is. Just like out of nowhere, we have like 5 trillion cards that are just like, oh yeah, you're doing a lot, by the way. Okay, cool. Ooh, I have no dra- oh, I have one dragon, I guess, but... I don't have enough dragons for the big guy to give me buffs. GG, easy game. I drank water and it went down the wrong way. Swain, Sejuani, and Trundle. Three thick champions. I played two little ones. Eh, I don't know if Diana's really that useful here. I feel like I'm not getting that much use out of her, because I'm not really playing super fast matchups a lot of the time. Which kind of sucks. 
the same time, a lot of people were asking me yesterday when I was playing this deck, like, why don't I just play Aesol? I don't think it's, like, really that necessary. Uh, okay. Well, I guess I'm wrong, and this guy's playing a fast deck, so nice Diana throw away, by the way. Really, really good mulligan for me. Yeah. Phenomenal mulligan. I love how I got the perfect one drop to play with the Diana here, so it should be activated as well. Really cool stuff. A Death Lotus card. Oh my god. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, I think I'll just buff it, honestly. It's fine. I get a card. I draw stuff. Play the game. Do four damage. Keep my card in play that can block his card. It's cool. Diana good in this deck? Diana's just a decent champion in general. I'd say yes. I feel like there really aren't too many situations where you play Diana and you're like, oh man, Diana fucking sucks. Why do I play Diana? She's so bad. Let's pass back into that. The longer the game goes, the more favorite I am, I think. Also, just open attack here. I think with this deck, he wants to develop a five. So the Leona next round is going to be good. One thing to consider about Diana as well is she's a champion with a very good champion spell, right? Um, it's one thing that I feel like you don't really think about it initially when you're considering what champions you run. But the fact that she runs such a good champ, or that she has such a good champion card attached to her is actually kind of massive. In my opinion, at least. Silence is kind of good for super mana. I kind of like the stun too. I think I maybe pick that. I guess denying the draw is pretty big though at this point still. So. I think this is higher value later on though. Not that I necessarily like need the higher value later, but I think just like the utility that I get from it is worth it. Feels like it is to me at least. You see, open attacks. I think at least. Yeah. Our little guy's gonna die. And by little guy, I mean super old dude. I think it's hard removal. I feel like I maybe pick this too often. This is three mana I can't play right now, unfortunately. Otherwise, I think it'd be really good. Maybe this is just a pick with my hands. I can't play Leona and this next round, though. But I'd rather play her defensively anyways, so I think it's fine, actually. I'm at 9, I don't overdraw. We're fine. Just gonna lead with this, because it gets my Leona closer to leveling. I think it's good. even good. I think it's more valuable than these two. So I can get something big off this and discount the cost. I don't get the passing so fast. Like, I'm just gonna, I don't know. I'm not gonna attack. It doesn't matter for me. That's so weird. I really, like, can't comprehend this guy just passing that much. It's nuts. Have you heard about Twitch Prime? I have not. Could you explain it to me, Nacho Yoda? Thank you for the Prime Gaming, though. I appreciate that. Twitch Prime, now that sounds something very engaging and unique. Something that I would like to have. Please enlighten me. Striker or Celestial, I play cost two less. I don't have Celestial units, otherwise this would be okay. Um, it'd be definitely with a Nightfall effect from this card here. Like a blocker, I think. This could be bad, because now he could follow up with like a Sedge or something that I can't stun. Okay, I am just so lost in this guy's line of play. I don't even know. It actually just escapes me here. I do not comprehend what is going on. Could have moon silver to get the nightfall? Yeah, my hand would be too full though, right? I have to dump stuff, I think. I could be wrong. But yeah, you're technically right. I could do this too, right? Because this has nightfall as well. The dust petals also apply. But it's more just like hand space right now, I think. Maybe that's not true. And so if I played the one card, then maybe it'd be fine actually. I heard you can get a free sub to any streamer every month. It's pretty neat. No way. What's up, uh, Mount Sanity and Man Manny Easy? I definitely just said NA Insanity, Manny Easy. Hopefully that was right for at least one of you guys. Welcome, how you doing? Hey, I'm getting aggravated with the amount of times this guy's just passing. So I have to attack mode now. As a professional attack mode player, I don't know what else I want to do. It's kind of nuts. 
Um, I will pass now. And I, I'm going to guess that he will now develop a card. I just don't understand, honestly. It looks like the opponent is just built different. Maybe, actually, wait. Maybe the play that turn is just like Morning Light. Oh, no, wait, no, it's a, it's a Daybreak effect, sorry. It actually, it still would have been okay for the plus 2-2 two, two on everything. It would have actually like legitimately been pretty good there. Now he plays cards, wow. Very engaging, my friends. I would do this now. I kind of think I do this now. That's kind of big. The other cards are really good too, though. Like, this is just like, hey, I win the game, Lamau. This is also like, hey, I win the game, Lamau. One, two, three. One, two, three. Somebody vote, because I like all of them. Three. Three was the first one. Oh my god, this is kind of close now. Oh, I'm seeing a lot of twos. I'm seeing a lot of threes. Oh, okay, more threes, more threes. I'll pick the three. Oh, man. That was tight. I don't ever draw. We don't have to use this yet. Okay. What the fuck is this guy doing, guys? I just... I don't know. I really don't, but I'm going to play a 9-mana 9-8 with um, Elusive Spell Shield and Fury and then hopefully win the game. We'll see now. He may have an answer, such as Sejuani, but that is fine. So now he plays a freeze effect, I guess? I think. Happy American Thanksgiving control. Hey, thanks so much for 33 I Love Hot Moms. And happy Thanksgiving to you as well. Later, bitch. Nice play. Man, sound effects are broken. What can we do now, guys? Later, bitch. Man, Pale Cascade's broken. <laughs> Easy money, let's go.